Well, we now learn that Justin Trudeau was lying again. He told us that bringing the former Nazi to the Ukrainian president's visit was all the speaker's fault. It had nothing to do with him. His office didn't even know about it, he claimed. Well, now we know that that was exactly false. His office issued an invite to the former Nazi to go to a Ukrainian president event. And Justin Trudeau said that the Speaker of the House of Commons should resign for having invited the former Nazi to the Ukrainian president's event. Does that mean that Trudeau will apply the same demand to himself? Is Justin Trudeau going to call on himself to resign? Or is this just another example of where he's above the rules that he applies to everyone else? I'm sure it is, because Justin Trudeau is a hypocrite. He's a fake. He embarrassed us all around the world with this incident, and then he lied about it to cover it up and threw a colleague under the bus to take the blame. Justin Trudeau is not worth the cost. He is not worth the embarrassment. After eight years, it's time to fire him. But Pierre Poilievre's recent emphasis on accountability and consistency has prompted scrutiny over whether his own expressions align with the standards he holds others to, such as those applied by Justin Trudeau to the former Speaker of the House of Representatives. The controversy surrounding a former Nazi invitation extended to Zelensky adds urgency to this examination. Poilier's statements raise questions about the sincerity of political actions and the potential fallout from deception and concealment. By labeling Trudeau as a hypocrite and fake, Trudeau's attempts to counter factual criticisms are highlighted, potentially eroding public trust in political leaders. But Poilier's discomfort hints at a challenge to the nation's self-image. Trudeau's accusation of deceit and betrayal toward a colleague exposes issues of credibility and leadership, reflecting democratic values of responsibility and duty. Trudeau's condemnation of a mindset above the rules, along with questions about the authenticity of leadership and the exemption of leaders from the standards they impose on others, foster skepticism about potential consequences 